What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 7. Here we go baby. Today we are going to be behind the wheel of the G-Wagon. And uh, let's see what we can do. This is going to be race 4 out of 5. In this SUV series we're racing at Daytona. I believe we're just on the road course. We're not going to be on the NASCAR track. But uh, let's see what we can do here. Ooh, this feels good man. Woo, we're coming in a little hot, little hot, little hot, little hot. Slow it down a little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this thing is uh, this thing's pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. This feels great. It feels way faster than the uh, the Urus we were using in the last episode. Oh, 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 look at two sideways. Look at this, look at this joker back here with the Escalade. He's pit maneuvering me. What was that? Alright, we're gonna be okay. Dude, this thing gets up. It feels light in a sense. I don't know, it's weird. Like, I... I think it's because it's... It's so tall and floaty. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit so I can hear the engine sounds a little bit better. But yeah, it's just... It's tall and floaty and it just... It, it seems to glide everywhere. I don't know, it feels good. The Nate Shot Mobile, soon, soon to be the Hex Mobile. Let's see what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna keep it down here on the the inside. See if we can catch third place right here. Dude, this thing can seriously get up. We've got a long straight here. We've got this little divot. We're gonna have to watch out for the divot. Let's try getting inside. Ooh, now I feel like I'm in a Nate Shot vlog. I thought we were hitting the wall right there. I thought we were gonna hit the wall doing like a buck 20 or something. I, I did not think we were gonna be able to stop in time. That was very fortunate. Okay, I'm gonna try getting down low again. So we started this series in the last episode. We did three races and we, uh, what did we get? Like fourth, fourth, third or something? Fifth, fifth, fourth? It wasn't great. We're already off to a much better start here. With one guy to beat. <laughs> Yo, that could not have been any more perfect. We really pushed it there and we barely had enough room to stop, but we made it happen. I think if we can stay with this guy through the curves, we should be able to beat him on the straights. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I forgot this one we don't really have to stop for. Don't spin the tires, Trev, that's not what we want. Sorry, brother. Try to catch up to him here. Woo! We beat him. Let's go, boys. All right. These guys constantly go up on the, the high route, which it's really weird. You don't really think about it, but I was talking to Junior once about this, and it's like it depends on, like, the speed and just every situation is different. But when you take the high route, you actually get more momentum and then when you come back down low you kind of lose it so it's like a lot of people will take the high route get that momentum get that speed up and they come down to this the lower end to have a shorter lap distance and then they go back up top to get the the momentum i don't know there's like some some crazy stuff but i mean every inch that you change on this turn is going to have a pretty massive difference on tire wear and fuel conservation and all kinds of crazy stuff it's kind of interesting but uh Obviously, we don't have to worry too much about that when we're doing two laps here in a video game. So, uh, look at that, dude. The straights, this thing absolutely mopped the floor. I mean, we were staying relatively uh, competitive down inside the road course, but the straights there, that's where we made up our, our distance. All right, guys, that's good stuff. So, in that first place, 
was much, much needed. And let's see where that's going to put us in the lineup in terms of total points for the series. Turret updates. Whew. All right, guys. We're in third place. We're on the podium. But we're not quite in first. It's going to take quite a bit if we want to get up to first. So we're going to move on here. And, uh, we're going to see what we can do. You guys see that? Level 66. I, uh, I may... I may have done, uh, there was like a little strategy. I think they actually patched it this morning. There's a strategy where you could like kind of boost your level up a little bit. I did it just for the sake of the series. Like I, I really sat and contemplated. I'm like, do I want to use this cheesy way to get XP? But then I was like, well, it's going to allow us to, to, you know, have access to better cars and have more money to buy those cars. We really don't even have that much money. We have like 2.4 million as you guys just saw. We were at like 800,000. So it didn't help us that much out in terms of money. But um, I did it for the series. Hope you guys... Hope you don't mind. I'm sad they patched it. Honestly. I was I was gonna keep doing it till we could buy like every car in the game and absolutely be able to use everything. That's my only worry. Is I don't know if we're gonna be able to earn enough money to use everything. We'll see. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's see what we got, dude. We are just killing it on the acceleration game here. Oh gosh. He clipped us a little bit. Or I clipped him, I guess. I want to be fair there. I definitely cut in his lane. I mean, I don't want to run into you guys, but if you guys are racing that slow, I'm going to have to. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> okay, the championship race just turns into bumper cars, I guess. The AI just don't back down. Like when I'm trying to cut in front of them, they just, they keep on pressuring it right into my rear quarter panel. There's no, uh, no shame in their game, that's for sure. Want to cut by these guys on the inside, but they don't really leave anything open to, to work with. Oh, baby. We got three laps here. We're in seventh place. We're definitely going to have to do a lot better than this. We've got a straight. We should start pulling on these guys, hopefully. You guys can see we're edging them out a little bit, but it's not, not quite like Daytona was. Whew. All right, we got by him. Sent him off to the, the grassy knoll over there. But, um, man, we've got a lot of ground to catch up with here. I mean, the second, third, and fourth are all kind of grouped together. We might be able to catch them, but first is going to be tough, dude. Whenever, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when we, like, first started this race, this one in particular, we were kind of stuck behind everybody at the start, like the main group. And when you get stuck behind the main group in this game, it just it makes it so hard to catch up. The races aren't long enough. There's actually a setting you can change that makes it so that the races are longer. But, um, I mean, that's, that's not fun. I don't want to sit and have super long races. That's not fun to watch. You want to have quick, fast races, constantly changing tracks and cars and just having fun. So, it's... Uh, it's a sacrifice I'll have to make. We just have to have good starts. I wonder if there's a way that you can position yourself a little bit farther up in the starting line. Starting in, uh, starting in like 12th or 13th, it just makes, makes it very, very hard. Go, baby, go. Go, 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 go. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Let's get third. If we get third, we can guarantee third is our, our position for the championship. Come on. Ah, oh, I think we came outside too quick. We should have kept drafting. Oh, we got fourth. Shoot. We got 355 points. All right. It's going to be up to the uh, up to the race gods to figure out where we're going to finish here. Fourth place. We stayed in third. All right, so we're gonna take the bronze home for this race, that's fine. Honestly, all we needed was like 10 points.
to uh, to complete this. After you win the Forza Drivers Cup, they'll be carving your name on the podium. Good stuff. We only need like 10 points, 10 series points or whatever it's called to move on to the next cup. So championship is yours. And you're another step closer to winning the Forza Drivers Cup. You can now go for the next challenge, the Evolution Championship. All right, the Evolution Championship coming right up, boys. Let's get it. That was a that was a good good class of racing. I liked that. It was tough, honestly. This episode and last, we kind of struggled a little bit, but I I like toughness. You know what I mean? All right, we got the Dodge Dart, 68 Dodge Dart. You're making a name for yourself, but that only means the other drivers will be gunning for you. And the Evolution Championship is where the pursuit of the cup is gonna really start challenging you. Okay, sounds good to me. So we've got Sport Coupe, which looks pretty cool. NASCAR, which looks pretty cool. Grand Prix, old school Grand Prix. Early prototype racers. Nostalgic Jag Racers, Group Rally, Ford Formula Spec, Hot Hatch Genesis, and Evolution Open. We've also got a Bronco Showcase, Police Car Bowling, the 911 GT1 Stress Inversion. Cool. All right, I'm gonna say, let's do one of these for this episode since we've already had a couple of races in. What do you guys think? Hoonigan Autocross, that sounds pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Apply too much speed at the Hoonigan Autocross, and it'll be a wake-up call. Overdosing on raw power will plow you through the cone gates, giving you a ton of time penalties. You need precision, handling, and speed to make your way through the cones to get the best time. Think finesse, not force. Okay. Finesse, not force. I, uh, I feel like a lot of my racing in this game so far has been brute force. And you so. will continue to actually improve to, because, you know, in the beginning, that first time, you're going to be looking at those pylons that are almost right in front of you. The tenth time, you'll be smart enough to be looking at those pylons two corners ahead. So you'll start to learn to expand your visual and it'll learn to be precise and you'll learn to be smooth because, you know, spectacular is not always fast in an autocross. So smooth, precise and keep your eyes up and look down. You know, look further down than just in front of the car. It's good advice. All right, let's look to the second turn in front of us. According to her. Here we go, boys. This is gonna be fun. I feel like we'd be better off inside the vehicle for this. Yeah, definitely wanna be inside the vehicle. Hold on. I want to be able to see my steering wheel, though. Dude, you can't really see when you're back behind it. Let's bring it here. Got a penalty there. If we were to miss that one penalty, we would have been fine here. We would have been doing a-okay. Slow it down. I mean, we're in a Bronco, so speed is not going to be our uh, our specialty. Although running like the 918 or something through here would have been really fun. We'll def I'm sure they've got more of these challenges for more different types of cars in the future, so we'll definitely check these out. This is actually really, really fun, dude. Gonna keep your speed up. I'm gonna slow this down. Woo! Hit that one. Nope! Alright, we're doing pretty well. I'm honestly... Really kind of mad that we hit that one cone back there. I don't even know what our goal is. We hit a second cone now, too. Dude, this is freaking legit! We've got a lot longer to go than I thought, too. Oh, no.
I think you're way better off just going slow and not hitting any cones. I wouldn't say our speed is made up for the 15 seconds that we've added on, dude. There's no way. If we just went slower and didn't hit anything, we'd be way better off. It makes it more fun, though. It makes it more challenging when you got that speed up. Woo! Dude, we're kind of pushing it here. I love it. We've got 90 out of 143 gates. Oh, gosh. Come on, Big Daddy Bronco. Dude, this is so legit. I'm actually really enjoying this. Oh, no. We're good. Whew. All right. 111 out of 143. That was a little bit sketchy. It kind of confused me a little bit when I saw all those in together. We're okay. I want to race this in real life, dude. This would be so much fun in real life. Do we get it? We got it. What was our total time? I want to know what our time was. We got it before three minutes and 55 seconds. That's what matters. Dude, that was seriously legit. That was fun. That was one of my favorite things we've done so far. All right, guys. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. We're going to start up our next series. I'm thinking... Give you guys an idea of what to expect tomorrow. I'm thinking... Wait for it. We got to wait till we get back to the menu. I know which one I want to do. It was the... Uh, kind of like the modern day cars. The Sport Coupe. I think we're going to start with Sport Coupe. And then I'd actually, I think NASCAR might be kind of fun too. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.